Hello everyone. Let us now discuss today's lead code POTD problem. Length of longest Fibonacci subsequence. Before that, before solving this, let us go through an example where you can understand what is this Fibonacci series. Imagine you have two numbers, one, two, and the next number should be the addition of the previous two elements, which is three. And the same for the next element, 2 plus 3, which would be 5. And the same for the next element, 3 plus 5, which would be 8. And so on. Now, the problem here is we are given with array. This is the question's explanation. We are given with an array which is strictly increasing. That means there are no duplicates in this array. Now, we need to find the subsequence which makes the longest Fibonacci series. That's our goal for this question. We need to get the subsequence. That means it's not a subarray. So you can get an element here and skip these elements and get an element here and get element after here. That means any element from the array and it should be like one after the other. So, after picking this, you should not pick an element before that. So, one minute forty. So, this is about the question. But, what will be the intuition? One, two, three, five, eight. Just consider this element 3. Now, if I take, how do I get this 3? I added 1 and then 2 to get 3, right? So, let's apply some math here. I added 1 and 2 to get 3. So, stick on to this. Now, I need to get this Fibonacci series or this would be 3 would be my Fibonacci series if I have 1 so that the difference between 3 minus 2 is 1. That's the whole intuition for this question. Now, let me go through this 8. This 8. Now, I have 3 plus 5 as 5 as 8. Now, I need to find this 3. That's the intuition or key idea for this problem. I need to find 3. Whether is this pre, uh, sorry, 3 is present before my 5 so that I would add my 8 for the Fibonacci series. But wait a second. 8 minus 5 would give me 3, right? So, 3 should be previous of my 5 and also 8. And now, I can add this Fibonacci series. But, if I do this for every element, like here in this problem, if I got this 8, then, then I would go through, imagine if my pointer is pointing, my uh, eye pointer is pointing at 8. Now, I go through the J which starts from 1, from here. Now, it comes till here, right? But before that, it goes to 5. Now, here comes the question. The same thing would be done as I explained you before. 8 minus 5 is 3. So, I will find, do I have a 3 previously? Yes, I do have and the index where 3 is present is also lesser than j. So, what I should do, what I should do is get the sequence of 5. The sequence at 5 would be something like 1, 2, 3 and 5. 
that means the sequence would be 4 here and when I get to yight it should be 4 plus 1 which would be 5 so this is the whole intuition for this question but you might ask me how do I get this 4 so for storing the longest sequence for I'll write it here for this is the algorithm or something like key idea for this problem for storing the sequence the longest sequence the longest sequence for every element at every element element I will use db now I have another problem I have another dot structure which I need to use as I said this 3 I found it this 3 and this 3 is also present lesser than the index of 3 is lesser than j that means 3 is present for j so for that for that 3 should have a index map so for that I would use an index map so I will use a index map uh, an unordered map and also DP and let us start with the dry run how would I solve this question so my first thing I need to do is initialize my index map 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now right 1 is present at 0 2 is present at 1 so this is how you initialize your index map now I would name it as index index map so 1 is present at 0 this all the stuff you know it but at 0 and at 0 1 2 3 4 5 and then 6 then as I said I would store this DP table so 1 2 3 4 5 and then 6 let me do a dry run with my i value as 0 now I have nothing before so let me skip it now i value is 1 and my j value is 0 at this moment 2 minus 1 is 1 but before that let me tell you one thing 1 is present at 0 which is not lesser than j so let me skip that but before the dp is already initialized with 2 because take any two numbers that would be in a sequence which is in a sequence right so that's why everything would be initialized with 2 not with 0 or not with minus 1 everything would be initialized with 2 remember this now I have my next i value as 3 uh, 2 now my j value is 1 so I have nothing before this j so let me skip that my j value is at 1 now 3 minus 2 is 1 and it is present at 0 this would be my k value now dp of j i would be dp of k j plus 1 so this is how the dp values would be changed dp of j i you would understand when i do this data dp of j i dp of 1 2 dp of 1 2 would be something like dp of k j dp of k value is 0 j value is 1 dp of 0 1 is already 2 2 plus 1 
would give me 3. The pair of 1, 2 is 3. Now, let me go through the next i value here. Now, let me go through the first j value and I have nothing to do much about the first j value. Now, let me go through the next j value which is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2 but this k value is greater than sorry is equal to j. So, I only take the k values which are lesser than j. Now, my j value is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. My k value is 0 and my and my wait a second my j value is 2 and my i value is 3 so dp of 2 3 would be dp of 0 2 plus 1 dp of 0 2 is already 2 plus 1 is 3 dp of 2 3 is 3 now let me go through my another i value I value is at 4 and my j value, I would skip this, my j value is at 1. 5 minus 2 is 3 but the k value is greater than j so let me skip it. j value is 2 and array of j is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2. Now the k value is 1. So the k value is 1 and my j value is 2. And my i value is something like 4. Now, dp at 2, 4 is dp of 1, 2. dp of 1, 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 comma 4 would be 4 dp at 2 comma 4. Why does this happen? Because at 5, I can make this something like 1 plus 2, which is 3, 2 plus 3, which is 5. So, at here, I have four elements, four as the sequence. So, dp of 2, 4 would be 4. Now, let me go through the another j value, which is 5, 4. So, 5, 4, I have 1, 0, at 0, comma, dp at 0, comma. The 4 is, the j value is 3. 3, comma, 4 would be initialized with 3 comma 4 would be initialized with dp of 0 3 which is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 now let me go through the another i value which is 5 now the j value at here nothing uh, before this j value so let me skip it now j value is here 6 minus 2 is 4 the k value is greater than j so let me skip that j value is 3 and 6 minus 3 is 3 the j val k value is not lesser than j so let me skip that j value is 4 uh, sorry 3 6 minus 4 is 2 and it is present at index 1 so my k value would be 1 and what is my j value j value is 3 now what is my i value i value is 5 dp of 3 uh, 5 would be dp of 1 3 which is already 2 so dp of i uh, sorry 3 5 would be dp of 1 3 which is already 2 2 plus 1 would be 3 now let me go through the another j value which is 5 6 minus 5 sorry j value is 4 array of j is 5 6 minus 5 is 1 and my k value is 0 so let me change this my k value is 0 and what is my j value 0 1 2 3 4 j value is 4 and my i value is 5 dp of 4 5 would be 0 4 plus 1 dp of 4 5 would be 0 uh, dp of 0 4 plus 1 which is 3 so as i said everything is initialized with 2. Now let me go through another i value which is 6. Now here the j is skipped. Here 7 minus 2 is 5 as k value is greater than j so let me skip it. Now j value is 2. dp uh, sorry 7 minus 3 is 4 which is greater not lesser than my j value so let me skip that. 7 minus 4 is 3. 7 minus 4 is 3 and the k value is at 2. 
7 minus 4 is 3. So 3 is present at 2 which is lesser than my j value. So now k value is 2 and what is my j value? j value is 3 and what is my i value? i value is 6. 3 comma 6 is 2 3. 2 3 I got 3 here. So 3 6 would be 4. 3 plus 1 4. Now let me go through another j value. Another j value which is at 4. 7 minus 5 is 2 and my k value is 1. My k value is 1 and what is my j value? j value is 4 and what is my i value? i value 6. dp at 4 comma 6 is dp at 1 comma 4 plus 1. What is 1 comma 4? 1 comma 4 is 2 as usually 4 comma 6. 4 comma 6 would be 2 plus 1, 3. Now let me go to another j value which is at 5. Now dp of 7 minus 6 is 1. The k value is 0. dp of 0 comma my j value is 5 and my i value is 6. dp of 5, 6 would be 0, 5 which is already 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now without wasting much of your time let me go through the element which gives me the maximum subsequence. So at this element 5 I would get maximum subsequence so let me see how now what would be my k value k value would be i minus 5 is 3 3 is present at 2 k value is 2 j is at 4 j is at 4 and my i value is 7 so at 4 comma 7 it would be degree of 2 comma 4 which is already 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so this is the maximum from all these elements in my dpt so this is how you solve this problem if if you like this video do share it to your friends and do subscribe to my channel this is the code and i have given the link of my submission in the description so go ahead and check it thank you